Hi there, sign of Libra. This is Kim here to do your reading for you guys. This reading is going to be for um, the first week in March 2022. Although, you know, you can apply it. I'm doing this at the end of February. You can apply it to this time and the beginning of March. Let's get into your reading. We're going to breathe deep. In our nose. Hold and then breathe out our mouth and do that like two or three times really nice big deep breaths i like to hold it for i don't know about three five seconds something like that not more one more one more little shuffle and we'll cut Asking that your angels and your spirit guides join us for this reading and give us messages that are clear and concise, always for Libra's greater good. The five of water in reverse. So this reading is going to be about releasing any kind of hold that you have to the past or anybody that might have been not very committed. Ace of Earth reverse over the King of Earth. Ooh, heart of the matter, Empress energy. Oh my goodness. So much. Ugh. <laughs> because so somebody could be pregnant and this could be like, oh man, that could be there could have been a signal that somebody was dishonest, like big sign that somebody was dishonest. Um feeling like this person maybe they lost an opportunity with you since that's the challenge. Page of air in the past, hearing from other people, hearing news gossip, four of air in the reverse. Oh, these, these wounds are still uh, fresh. They feel like they still hurt. Future energy is looking good. We're actually moving towards something that is starting to work. Maybe something that started out as an investment that didn't go good is going to start paying off here in the future energy. And then the Empress is like, well, yeah, because at the heart of it all, the Empress energy was fueling this business or something like that. That's actually coming across as good. Good. To a fire, there's a bigger perspective. There is a uh, two of wands. There may be different paths to choose from. There might be different focuses. Seven of air is something I kind of thought that we would see because of the five of cups in the reverse. So we're releasing any kind of hold or, or energetic energy around us of the seven of air. Whether we were in that energy or somebody else was. Sometimes this can represent corrupt means of getting money. Um you know, something like that, but something ends up working out. Something ends up working out. Page of water in the reverse, fearing that a situation isn't hopeful. And it, it doesn't look hopeful when it's in the reverse like that. I get that. Queen of Earth in the reverse. <sighs> Why? And then what is working out? The issue might be the other person for some of you all because the, the Queen of Earth in the reverse is usually a person who's trying to, well, mess with this King of Pentacles in the reverse and um, mess with somebody else's, this Empress Energy's domestic affairs. So that's why something's not been healed so far, is that something's still going on that's deceptive. Or that they think that's deceptive. I think you know what this is. <sighs> release, release this situation. Release this situation. Don't know what to do. May need to take a leap of faith and have a brand new beginning here. You really might. 
So the Queen of Earth, if it's not like anything love related and it's in the reverse, it's going to have to be um, cracking down on how we use our resources, um, looking at any unnecessary spending or things that are considered luxuries that maybe we could go without for a little while. There may be a breakup. I see the Hierophant in reverse with the Six of Swords there too. Or this, this might be about how you receive your money and that changing. There's something here about you developing a skill and getting a lot better at it. So we're going to ask about, you know, what that's about too. Let's go ahead and clarify Spirit, the uh, King of Pentacles in reverse. Or Libra, King of Pentacles. Who is this... Um, uncommitted person you can see clearly now that somebody isn't as faithful as maybe they thought and there was an inevitable separation here that that we're gonna um act upon it feels like we're gonna make the decision that we can never find lasting happiness with this energy and you see something clearly now because of one reason or another, you're able to see clearly. It might be from this information that you got here in the past. All right. There is a, a feeling of I don't have any more options than to separate or than to make this decision because there's a stalemate. So it might be within a business too. Like, I don't know which way to go. I have to make this decision and give up on something that you were trying for there are more possibilities than just that here is the message for you because this is in your spot the, the two of wands there's a, a bigger picture a bigger perspective therefore there's also more possibilities you haven't yet considered all right so um i feel like this is a lost opportunity or yeah i mean like a person that lost out this could be talking about in the past dealing with a child, uh, air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, since we do have this Empress energy here too. So clarify the Empress energy at the heart of the matter. What is this Empress energy about? What's the Empress energy all about? New beginning. Maybe like um, a new creation. A new creation, um, learning with the beginner's mind here, with the full empress energy is um, something's really getting manifested here. Something's going to be big, cornucopia type of energy. Empress, everything she touches is gold, and you need to have that beginner's mind that perhaps instead of thinking things could get worse, that they could get better. And how? Because something ends up working for you. So I don't know. I don't know if it's this person or if it's this business. Something ends up picking up. And then you get to you build up money here. And it's talking about resources and money. And you do work on the accumulation here in the future energy. Healing needs to be done. And maybe a time out. Because a four of, the four of air is in reverse. That means that we're like actively part of this energy here with the seven of air. Now, I think it needs, it's probably going to be communicated that there's going to be a break or a split here. I'm not sure if, um, you know, sometimes if you're spending money, um, you know, if you're spending money on or somebody around you was trying to lie and deceive or cheat you because they were on a substance... This might be being off of that substance and being able to see something as clearly once our mind is clear. So a completely new beginning is needed on what you can create with this Empress energy here. Might be for you and others here. There's something it feels like you're going to go at it alone. And that's okay. That's that's an okay thing. That might have took some time to getting to that point where that would be okay to go off on your own. So 
I feel like a, a break is needed, but let's see. Let's clarify the four of air in the reverse. Yeah, <laughs> look at the arrow. <laughs> Nine of wands in the reverse. Arrow is pointing to the four of air in the reverse. Okay, so there might be a timeout because this this stuff just makes you really upset. Yeah, I mean, it makes you, makes you upset. King of cups in the reverse. So you're not gonna give more energy to it, right? Um, we're not going to persist after, we're not going to keep on trying after something or someone. If one, this person may be a little bit of a hothead, like they may have a high, a hot temper and um, they may not be in very good balance, like mood wise, especially if there is something like drugs or something, alcohol or something like that involved. There may be a heart, like a harshness. There may be some rehab type energy needing needed that <laughs> for this king of cups and that is a big healing and that does take a time out Sag uh, sagittarius and we have um scorpio energy libra energy your energy why did my, my mind like went blank when I stared at it? Seven of air, um, Aquarius energy. Let, let's clarify what this deception is about. Let's go ahead and get into this. Oh my Lord. <laughs> well, there is no more deception because you're six of swords in it. You're getting away from the deception. If you're a part of the one who is trying to deceive, you're getting away from that kind of behavior. You're um, giving yourself the chance to have a new fresh start because truly even coming out of this energy you can go towards a much better much calmer time or space um and, and have good thinking process have a really good thinking process because my god whatever you're doing that makes you think better keep doing it aid of air not only are you seeing very very um clearly what's going on in a business situation if that were it that's not good but you're seeing what's going on in um in a relationship that is not good that i feel like it's just not something's just not working in that and this is this scene clearly is allowing you to work on it maybe somebody had a missed opportunity maybe you missed out on an opportunity they come back around opportunities come around Sorry, it's a long stemming problem. Ten of Earth in the reverse. This is a cycle that when it repeats, it, it kind of helps you sabotage everything every time it starts to repeat. Um, so this time we make the cycle stop. We don't have to keep learning the same lesson. And, and we go on quite a journey with the Six of Swords getting away i would say like the worst of it is over and more light is coming so um to a fire tell us about these extra possibilities we got going on and and this is also the energy of you feeling really driven and motivated yeah let's turn in that sad squirrel in reverse that's what i'm saying so this is the happiness the positivity the hope the sun here Ooh good move it's a good move this is a uh, divine assistance it's shining the light it's illuminating you and some good choices you're making and it's going to get you out of either a depression or um this having your mood unbalanced a whole lot that is something's going to clear up with that things are going to get illuminated for you maybe something had a root cause with like depression or anxiety in the first place so maybe that energy of treating something is going to happen alternately this could be just many other possibilities lightening up for you maybe it seems like things are getting brighter i can see clearly now the rain is gone <laughs> that's what i that's the energy so leo there leo there and maybe it's the deception once the deception's gone Page of water is in reverse. What's not hopeful? What is not hopeful? What is not hopeful? The lover's energy. Woo. 
Eight of Cups in reverse. Some, okay, some of you all, it's a message of not wanting to leave. And not, or, or somebody coming back to try to fix something doesn't seem hopeful. Or having another brand new beginning regarding some kind of major decision, maybe regarding business. All right, so Eight of Earth, something works. Accumulation, something works. Queen of Earth, clarify this Queen of Earth in the reverse. And yes, it will. Page of Swords was upright, right? So here it is in reverse. So there might be more information that you need, or maybe you got all the information that you need. Maybe right now somebody is just looking at you and saying, hey, um, do you accept my apology? Or will you accept my apology? Or maybe you're going to hear a confession from this Capricorn type energy or regarding a Queen of Earth energy. Maybe there's forgiveness here in your heart. A chance to show grace and integrity, even though there's great disappointment in a person. You finally get closure and you finally get transformation and change, even after a great disappointment. All big major arcana, guys. So Scorpio, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, possibly child. More information. Get more information. Um... Is this forgivable? This judgment energy, is this forgivable? Well, of course it is. Why am I even asking that? Or how, how does this become forgivable? How do we move past these? The Four of Wands. By celebrating the milestones and the, the point that you're at right now, um, by celebrating that and then celebrating every single milestone until your next... Um, really big event happens feels like there's going to be a really big announcement here too so forgiveness and then the marriage card hey i don't know it's up to you all four of ones could be a move could be where you place your roots um it's something big it's a big milestone yes in the past somebody's made a really foolish decision but we're getting out of this energy, and that's kind of all that matters. So let's get a cryon card for you to end your reading. Thanks, Libra, for joining me. Look at all these great cards you've got. Talk to your body. Your body is listening. I love this one. This one's a good one. Let's see. Let me read it. Your body is listening. If it's going to... That's it. I guess you can you can see it if it's there. Okay, and this is like I said, this is cryon. So I'm gonna read it. It says, think about what you are saying in life when you move around socially. What is your attitude when you say it, and how often do you say it? Your body is listening. Dear light worker, part of your spiritual evolution is that the body, the innate, is now aware of everything. Crown has said many times, what you casually say out loud is like placing an order to the universe. It is that powerful. We all know that when we spell things out, it's part of our spell. You know, that is a spell when we spell things out. If that's true, then who is listening? Who is placing the order? And the truth is this. Your body's, quote, innate hangs on every word you say and tries its best to deliver what you've asked for. The innate is the, quote, smart body, the one that responds well to kinesiology. Yet again, in this card set, here is a theme of watch your words. It's a common theme here. Since your words are your consciousness and they are so powerful that you can create things you didn't really expect, the new spiritual evolution of your innate is responsible and will surprise you how reactive it is. If you receive this card, the idea of the body is listening is something you need to hear and read yet again. It's a way of reminding you how powerful you are. 
that you are able to create just about anything within your body. So watching your words is a wise admonition or admission. So what have you told your body lately? Does it include casual thoughts like I'm a fool for doing that or I'm sick of this or doing this stuff drives me crazy? Don't be surprised when it comes back to you in some form of reality. After all, the body that you carry around doesn't know if you're kidding or serious. It depends on you for consciousness and it does what you tell it to. You are the boss. So consider this. How about telling your cells to start you think or perhaps to increase your energy or sleep better? See what I mean? Remember, your body is indeed listening to it all. Sending you love and light. Bye, Libra.